So say you throw a dinner party and you put down a bottle of wine on the table and you explain to your guests that this wine comes from a winery in some such fancy place made by some such fancy winery and you are one fancy son of a gun and you want to make sure everyone knows it. Everyone smiles and nods and says, wow, mmm, yum. But then there's your sister's husband. Bob, but how do you know it's real? Bob says. And then he says that you can't trust people from such such a country because Bob is also kind of a racist. And you say, well, Bob, I know because VeChain tracks it using RFID chips and blockchain technology to ensure that it's handled properly and comes from a verified source. So drink your wine and shut up, Bob. But VeChain is used to do more than just ensure the source of your products. And this happens again when you place sushi down on the table and Bob eyes it suspiciously. You know that if fish is not handled properly, it gets spoiled by the time it gets to the table. I hope you're not trying to make us all sick. Bob says, I know Bob, you tell him. VeChain tracks its food from its source to the table and monitors the temperature the whole way so that if any of the conditions that keep the fish fresh are violated, it is instantly noted on the blockchain and then the fish is thrown out. Bob frowns. Blockchain? That's like that Bitcoin scam stuff, huh? At this point you get angry. No, Bob. It is an immutable ledger that creates a transparent system of checks and balances on everything from food to luxury goods, so you can always know that the products that you are receiving are ethically sourced and handled properly. But Bob isn't having it. All that cryptocurrency stuff is garbage. They're all scams. They don't even have working products and businesses aren't even going to touch them. At which point you cry that VeChain has a workable app and they partnered with PwC, DNVGL, and NLS, and you take out your phone to show Bob that they have a working app, but you're so emotional that you just throw the phone at Bob's head instead. So then you wind up in jail eating suspicious looking fish nuggets, but at least there is no Bob and you have plenty of time to huddle VeChain. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and check out the link for our interview with the GM of VeChain in the description below. Mm -hmm.